Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBS in Denver. Time for your CBS in Denver daily sports line for Tuesday, August 3rd. We are, as always, brought to you by BetMGM. I am Michael Spencer. You can follow me on Twitter at MichaelCBS4. Coming off a bad beat last night. It was tough if you stayed up late to watch the Americans against Spain. Kevin Durant's dunk with like under 20 seconds to go. Had no impact on the game, but it did impact the spread. I told you in yesterday's broadcast, it was a United States minus 12 and a half. I was on Spain plus 12 and a half. It got up to 13 and a half before the game. Americans end up winning by 14. That is part of the joy and part of the hair pulling out experience that can be sports betting. Yet we ride yet again today. Rockies back home after a 10 game road trip, and they actually weren't terrible on the road trip. It's pretty bad when you're saying that they won 40% of their games, and that's actually not terrible. But with this Rockies team and the way that they have played on the road, 4-6 and six on a 10-game road trip is actually pretty good. And guess what? The bats kind of came to life a little bit. Obviously, that last game against San Diego where they had just one home run, uh, and then that accounted for their lone run. That was kind of the exception. But the bats came to life. Rockies are playing decent baseball. They got the Cubs today, and they are favored. At plus 125 on the money line, if uh, excuse me, at plus 125 on the run line for them to win by a run and a half or more, you can get plus money on the Rockies tonight. The over/under is at 11 and a half, and the Rockies to win on the money line, just to win straight up, is minus 140. You got Kyle Freeland going against Zach Davies tonight. I looked at some of the Kyle Freeland props. His out props is at 17 and a half. I wanted to take the over here. Can he get to six innings? He should. Right? But I just am not sure if I want to bet Kyle Freeland and the Rockies, if we're being honest about this thing, right? So if you want to fade me tonight, I totally get that. His out prop, by the way, is hit in five of the last seven games and his last three, but he's coming off four days rest. So that concerns me just slightly in terms of him getting to that six inning mark. His strikeout prop is four and a half. You look at the last couple of games, three strikeouts, three strikeouts, four strikeouts, six strikeouts, four strikeouts. So I'm staying away from that. The under might be the play there, uh, but you guys know I don't necessarily like betting unders when it comes to the Colorado Rockies. I'm somewhat of a homer, but I am going to take the Rockies on the money line tonight as my best bet. And this has more to do with really kind of how the Rockies are playing and the fact that the Cubs just traded everybody right before the trade deadline. I don't know what to expect from the Cubs tonight. The joke in here in the CBS 4 Sports office is that it's a minor league baseball game this evening at Coors Field. Again, if you want to fade me on this, I don't blame you, but give me the Rockies minus 140 as my best bet for your CBS in Denver daily sports line. We're going to roll with the Rockies and see what happens. I know that is a bold move. So again, I don't hate it if you fade me, but Rockies minus 140 on the money line. Your best bet for your CBS in Denver daily sports line brought to you as always by BetMGM. Place your parlays, props, and futures at the King of Sportsbooks. Download the app today.